Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the channel again. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Liz and I'm a part-time reseller in Maryland. And I was recently put in a situation that I've never been in in about 12 years in the business. I can't wait to take you with me, especially because it turned into a three-day picker's paradise. Okay, so yesterday, I went to an estate sale and when I got there, there was a sign on the door and I'll show you what it said. This has never happened to me before. <laughs> Hold on, check this out. Some things work out. This is what the sign said. And I was like, what? And they said someone came in and bought all of the contents for an undisclosed sum. And I was super sad, but the good news is the guy who bought it all is also a reseller and they put me in touch with him and he invited me over to fight, to fight <laughs> Freudian slip, to shop without any fighting off of other pickers. So that is what I'm doing. And this place has that time capsule kind of vibe that I love. Look at these coloring books. I may have to get these because I think they're so cool, but they really don't sell, do they? But look at the beautiful graphics. Wouldn't you love to make? I wish I made things with decoupage because I would love to make one, something with these. So here I am. And the guy's really cool. And he said, you can have everything over there for $50. <laughs> like, I don't think I can fit that all that in my van. Now, I'm not saying I want all of that, but... I'm just saying, the price is right. So I'm gonna spend a few minutes looking through and I'll let you know what I stumble across. Some of this furniture is really cool. But it looks like it's been here for a long time. That's a really cool bar. I think that's a bar. And this credenza has a bunch of treasures on it. I didn't wear my GoPro because I didn't think it was appropriate, but it turns out that it is perfectly fine. And my husband always says, always be filming. So I'm trying to do that. Look at the feet on this. I don't know if that's a paw or an artichoke. Let's see what these boxes are. Very interesting. Never seen those. I don't think they have great value. This I've had before and it took forever to sell. Let's go check out the kitchen. Now I did pick up a piece of Pyrex in here already. Look at these fun little treasures. Some of my horses. Oh, he's cute. Oh, he was broken. I'm gonna have to look at this. Not that I expect there to be anything of great value, but I'm gonna buy these glasses, I think. I think for autumn, these would sell really well. And that's a pretty cool cocktail shaker, but it doesn't have the lid. So I don't know. <laughs> I've seen these before. These are pretty cute, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna have to grab those. Now, I already have those automotive glasses to list, so I'm not gonna grab more of those. And there are only two of those diamond ones. I don't think that's enough. I already had or have a Mars the Cat mug, but I am tempted. I may have to grab it. I used to know a Mars the Cat. <laughs> this color is absolutely perfect. I swear I have that color in my house, but I don't have this beautiful wallpaper. I guess they recently did a lot of work to this house. Looks like they might have refinished the floors recently. Look at the wallpaper. Ooh, it looks really good. Ooh, the butler staircase. That's where I almost tripped over the threshold. <laughs> There's always something so amazing and yet slightly voyeuristic about doing this. And I don't know which 
whether I like it because it's just amazing or if I like it because it's a little bit voyeuristic. I, you know, I don't love this color as much, but it's a nice space. Okay. What's up, little frog? What's his deal? God, he's realistic. I have a lot of frogs. Wow. <laughs> Vintage crayons. Sometimes they sell. I've had them sell really well in the metal boxes. This is cute. I don't know if it's a big seller, but that is cute. <sighs> this is an interesting wardrobe. Buttonhole attachment. I need that. Family photos. That's two days in a row. A lot of curtains and bedding. What else is in here? What's this? I don't know what this is, but I've... Is this for thread? Let me know in the comments if you know what that's for. I want to say it's for thread. That's very sweet. Uh, I think it's a Deca uh, print. Not 100% sure. And umbrellas wrapped in paper. Oh, look at this little guy. Isn't he cool? He's going in the pile. Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess I'm going to be stepping on this. Weird. Very strange surface to walk on. Now, these curtains are not my favorite. Curtains. Oh, my gosh. Look at that piece of furniture. Holy moly. Um, but the fabric is to die for. You know what? Is it just fabric and not curtains? Oh my goodness. What's up with this? I don't know, but that is beautiful. Look at that coloring of goldenrod. Texture. That's not bark cloth, is it? You know, my friend's supposed to come over. She's gonna love. I don't know what that is. Uh, She's gonna love this furniture, I think. I try not to do furniture. Oh, okay, I see. We came up the stairs right there and went around the loop. This is an amazing house. Oh my gosh. I'm not even sure that I'm actually not dreaming. Or should I say awake? That's a beautiful piece of furniture. Now he did say he had a lot of boxes that we could use. He wasn't kidding around. I don't think this is gonna be very sellable, but what is it? Oh, maybe, maybe my son can give that to his history teacher. Nothing wrong with kissing up a little bit, right? Uh-oh, this looks shady. What's happening over here? Whoa, I don't know if I wanna know. That looks like a secret society. What's this guy? He's cute, little ceramic guy. Do I want him though? Maybe, the price is right. I think the price is right. Look at this cute little bench slash, is it a toy chest? Oh, look, look, look. Oh, there's a mirror under here. Watch yourself. More curtains. Look at this little guy. Uh-oh. I have to choose between the cats. This is the one I want then. Look, who does that remind you of? What the heck was that name I taught you guys? Ah, welcome to middle age, but this is like one of those ceramic cats. I'd probably mount him on the wall because he's more delicate than the one we had at that caught thief on video sale. I might leave that cat behind since I don't have any hands free. <laughs> he's cool, but he might only be like a $10 trinket. And I don't know if I can afford a whole arm for a $10 trinket. I'll check back in in a few minutes. I, I gotta put this stuff down. Look at that sweet little, I don't even know what that is. Is it kind of like a nightstand? Oh, that is so cute. This furniture is something else. This is, would you call this a barrister filing cabinet? It's actually not hard to get the glass replaced from what I hear. This color. Um, Technically perfect for the Victorian period, but it doesn't feel like it, does it? Wow, what's up with this blanket? 
Is it good news or bad news that there's not much stuff up here? If you saw my car, you might think it's kind of good news. Day of infamy. Is it signed? You gotta check them. See if they're signed. It changes everything. This looks like a job I'd be good at. A used nail file? No. 1953 Reader's Digest. Wow. This place is a time capsule. Wow. I love these things. They don't do well for me, but look at this. Let's see if we can find out how old it is. Oh, there's a love note in there. Hold on. Oh, Hebrew. Uh-oh. That's not Hebrew. It doesn't say how old it is, does it? No. I gotta check out this love note. Scandalous. Oh, a tryst. Nope. Just Hotel Tom Miami. Well, I love that for my own reasons, but not, I like those. Um, not a big seller. <laughs> She's talking to herself. Yeah. Well, I'm a good listener. Okay, this is a lot of books. Now, I just had a half off. Look, another book that's perfect for me. <laughs> and an athlete. I um, just had a half off sale on books, so I have to be cautious. And even though it feels like condition doesn't matter, if I can't remember it, you guys need to remember it's the most important thing. So just because it looks cool, yeah. Look at these books though. Look at this. I love this cover. Mrs. Georgie Shelton. Ooh, that's adorable. Valuable? Don't know. Martyrdom. I guess I'm looking for titles that jump out. In the secret cave of Kaidi. I also like certain kind of covers, but these all appear to be well loved. And I'm trying to be good. If I were really trying to be good, I'd be home listing. I can't be that good. Oh boy. That is so darling. That's just one of those sort of cardboard prints, but isn't it lovely? And this one's nice too. Oh, you know what? I'm supposed to be checking to see if my friend has come over. Dictionary of the Bible. I'm going to have to put my phone down to go through these. Okay, guys. So I'm going to share with you everything I picked over about three days at that Picker's Paradise sale. Um... I won't have exact values for everything because there's so much stuff and I'm preparing for a well-deserved vacation. And so I'm just gonna kind of give you a quick scan of what I have so you can kind of see. Like I said, I didn't actually look up values for every single thing because it would have taken me like 15 hours to do all um, the screenshots and inserting all those. But I will insert some screenshots for the more valuable items so that you get a visual as well as an um, audio um, value or comp. And it's really noisy and busy on my street today. It usually isn't. So I apologize for background noise, but it is what it is. So we'll just go left to right. So we've got this cute owl string art. I think this is probably a $25 piece in the booth. It might sell for more online because owl collectors, people who like string art might really love it. I didn't look up an exact value on that. When I looked these up, they were called Pony Boy. Toy, it was a toy gun and holster. A little bit of condition issues. The one I found online, I think was about 25. So I don't think it has a huge value, but when I see these old toy guns, they're very collectible. So something that's important to note. Um, and I grab them if they're cheap enough, regardless of condition. I figure if it's really bad, I can just donate it or something like that. Price it very inexpensively or something like that. One of the standouts from this sale, which you might not guess, you know, figurines are something that people don't always pay attention to, but you guys know from the thief caught on video, video that I posted about a month ago, that these kind of wall climber cats are worth stopping for. And this particular one is made by Lefton and is about a 65 or $70 piece. 
And so totally worth it. Just like that one I showed you that was worth several hundred from that other sale. This piece surprised me. For some reason in my head, it did say penguin. And I thought it was like a pen or a pocket protector. Now remember, I'm shopping super fast. This is actually like <laughs> a pen that shoots tear gas at people. So I don't even know if you're allowed to sell these, but I bet there are people who think they're really cool. I couldn't find, look at this, could not find a comp for it. Um, I'm going to look into that more. Um, it didn't occur to me that a comp would be so challenging to find, but I feel like that's really cool regardless. I got this set of six um, Hazel Atlas sort of geometric rose glasses. I just thought these were really cool. Like this would not surprise me if someone said, oh, these are from Ikea or something. They look kind of modern to me. So I got a set, wait, did I get six? Oh, I got seven, that's right. I hate when there's seven. But anyway, I prefer to sell these in groups of about four because it's easy to pack four into a box safely. And so I'll probably try to figure out what I'm gonna do about that since I have seven. Um, maybe I'll do two groups of three, we'll have to see, or just a group of six. Um, so I looked these up and one of these was $12. Now I wouldn't, I don't think I would charge $12 a piece for all seven, but with the quote free shipping and quote, maybe it kind of would. I loved this frame. Um, the guy running the sale, Jim, who was super nice, shout out to Jim, was like, you know, it's a little bit beat, but it's so beautiful. And I feel like he really hit the nail on the head and I couldn't resist. So I gotta carefully take this out of here uh, and clean it up a little bit and see what we can do with that. Um, not hugely valuable, but look at the texture of the wood. It's just so, so nice. I picked up these refrigerator dishes because I've actually never seen these. Now I've seen things like this, but not these. And I thought they would be really cute for little utensils or makeup brushes or I don't know, something in your bathroom with your make. I don't know, just really, really cute, nice pieces. But they originally, I guess, went in the refrigerator for something. I don't know what, like celery sticks? Leave me a comment, I have no clue. Um, I did skip over this little coin purse. Not a big money maker, really cute. Jim was pricing things so cheap, I was just tossing cool stuff in my bag. This is one of the things that I said, oh sure, we like Coca-Cola stuff. Not realizing that this is a $50 toy made by Leslie. Had no idea till about five minutes ago. <laughs> now I've sold Leslie um, matchboxes before for good money, but I hadn't even looked that closely at this little piece. So I think that's really cool and I'm excited about that score. And how nice is that to ship? Free shipping on that is going to be a breeze. I'm grabbing Barbie stuff still. Don't know if Barbie core is over. This will probably just go in my booth. I don't think it's going to be worth enough to ship. And I love local places. I like to Google these places like this optometrist in Baltimore and see like when it was in business. I don't think I can open it with one hand right now, but there is a pair of eyeglasses in there, which is so cool. Um, I got a couple of mugs, not hugely valuable, but this one is copper and brass, mid-century kind of Aztec look, maybe like a $10 or $15 piece uh, made in Mexico. I don't know if that was a souvenir piece or what. And then this sort of tiki style um, wooden mug was really cool too. I don't know if you would decorate with that or if you would actually drink out of it. That one's made in the Philippines, but I think that's great for, for tiki type or boho decor. Now this Murano clown is really sad. I don't know what happened. He was fine. When I found him, I didn't detect any damage on him and I wrapped him up carefully and he didn't get bounced around and he's cracked. So I don't know if I was rushing so much that I missed the crack, which sounds crazy, or if somehow he got bumped or someone moved him because I had a hold pile. I wonder if he just got shifted around accidentally. And that's really too bad because he could be very, very valuable. Not that that many people need an Aventure Murano clown, but I was happy that he was in such good shape. So. He's a little bit of a sad story. I didn't find any like him exactly. Um, so I'm not 100% sure of his value, but I expect that he could have been worth maybe like 100. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if you know. One of my friends told me um, that vintage stockings, uh, hosiery, sell really well. And so sometimes I grab them if they're kind of cool or they have like a fun name. And I didn't really realize when I grabbed these that there was some, I think it's, is it Chaparelli? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, look at these beautiful stockings in their original paper and box. So cool. I looked those up, they're about 25 bucks, and I actually couldn't find these. But allegedly they sell well, so there you go. This is sort of like a little thermostat. When it's like dry, only the woman is outside. When it's really humid, only the man is outside. And right now it must be pretty balanced because they're 
both inside. I'm not sure, but it's cute. A little thermometer. I might touch up the roof where it has some chipping to the, um, the brown wood with a marker or a Sharpie or something like that to make it look better. I don't think it's a huge money maker. I think the ones online in great condition were about 25, but I hadn't seen that before. And then this piece um, is blown glass. And I'm gonna to try to show you the signature because you should look for signatures like this. I don't think everyone knows. You can kind of see it. I can't read it yet, but always look for signatures on your glass and they're sort of etched so they can be really hard to see. Um, but that can really change the value of your pieces. I haven't found that artist yet, so I'm not sure what that's worth, but sometimes the sky's the limit with these things. Uh, I always buy sacred heart type relics and religious pieces because they sell well online, but they also do sell in the booth. Um, there's like this new wave of Gothic Christianity and some of this, um, you know, more kind of like dramatic, I'm not Catholic, dramatic imagery uh, can sell really well. I expect in the booth it would be probably like 25, but online it might sell for more like 50. Um, I couldn't identify this doll, but when I used Google Lens, it brought up something like Miss Revlon, but I don't know if she's Miss Revlon. And I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read what her little bag says. But it might not even be associated with her directly. I think this is one of those little rain hats. But she does have her shoes. She looks like a little French girl to me. And she has her original um, receipt in her box still. So she's super cute. I don't know if she's 25 or 50 or 100 because I don't know who she is yet, but gorgeous. Loved getting her. This radio is a surprise. Uh, 85 to to $100 for this radio, even when it's sold for parts. So I had no idea. And check out these 50s, like mid-century lamps. Now, you know, they kind of have that sort of Victorian look with this hand-painted glass. But when you look at the tripod brass legs, then you know it's more of a mid-century pink was really big in the 50s so that's my guess but these are adorable lamps and I paid ten dollars for the pair of them which sounds crazy to me these shades were found separately in the house look at this oh my goodness I don't know if those are the shades I can't get it to stay without a bulb but I think they probably are and these are made of like some kind of like paper almost one of them unfortunately did get a little bit of a rip um I don't think I realized it was paper I thought it was fabric but it's I, I'm almost positive it's paper I couldn't find those lamps, but I assume they're worth more than $10 for the pair. And actually, they're not that big to ship if I ship them without the shades, which I guess I probably would. I got some ephemera, and most of this stuff is actually not worth as much as you might think. Um, maybe like $10 per issue. This is actually a relatively modern postcard, so not worth a lot. Oh, I forgot to look this one up, but I love the graphics on this. Sorry, I forgot to look that up. Probably not hugely valuable but I couldn't resist I love this old like when they tell you how to be healthy by like having like butter and gravy and stuff like that I love that and I always buy these hardcover spiral bound Betty Crockers um this one's not a terribly valuable one but the kids cookbook is one that's valuable and often these will sell online very easily for $25 and up not this one but similar ones uh, so I always get those. And like I said, I'm kind of just throwing stuff in the box as the other pickers are running around. Because what I probably didn't make clear is that the first night when I was filming, it was just me. I mean, that's a true picker's paradise. But it still kind of was like paradise even the next day when I went back and there were other pickers there. By that time, I'm kind of tossing stuff in the boxes. Things are getting unearthed as people are shopping. And so, uh, yeah, sometimes he would just price a whole box and be like, just 20 bucks for all of it. I would guess that I probably paid him $80 for everything is my guess, but it might have been as close to $100, but you can see how much it is. I got these actually today. Look at these vintage Halloween magazines. The one I found on Etsy was $36. Um, I might have missed the boat this year. I don't think I can get these listed in time to sell for the Halloween um, season, but Halloween collectors will probably buy those year round. I didn't look these up, these patches, but I do like local history type stuff. I don't know what that is, and I'm not sure I want to know. Um, and so I think these things are really, really neat, and I'll probably put those in the booth or on Facebook. Um, <laughs> I had a whole set of these, and I sold them probably too cheap. And then the homeschooling picker just sold a slice of the watermelon, this alabaster watermelon, for like 25 bucks on eBay. So there it was, this slice of watermelon, no other fruit. I've never seen this before, about $25 piece. Mine's not perfect, but look at this. It's a Dolly Graham by Western Union. I don't know why they made her into a voodoo doll. 
Uh, I don't think she came with pins originally, but look, it says happy birthday and she's adorable. Okay. Mid-century shakers. I always pick them up when they're cheap. These are wood and I think aluminum. I didn't see a name on them. Um, people do like those, but probably like 10 to 15 bucks. I got two different Texas jiggers. This one's really cute. Uh, I guess I'm a Yankee, so there I am way at the bottom. But the Texans can have a really big glass, apparently. And this one is actually etched. Paul J. Wilkinson, 1952, which is really, really cool. I'm going to have to look him up. So these glasses are probably like 15 bucks online is my guess. Um, I had to get this because I thought it was so cool that it had its original cars, like sort of like new old stock. I'm not planning on styling my hair with this. Um, but the empty bottle actually had some value. I think it was like 15 or 20 bucks for the empty bottle. So I was encouraged by this. When you see this candy stripe pattern on white built glass, it's Hazel Atlas usually. I think they call it a candy stripe pattern. Um, and I think a pair of these is like 25 or 30. Oh, it is. It does have the H for Hazel Atlas as well. Um, I always buy these Morris mugs. Morris was big when I was a kid and there was a neighbor's cat named Morris. Uh, one day I got stuck up on a roof, it's a long story, by myself for hours, and Morris the cat came up and kept me company, so thanks for that, buddy. 20 bucks for a Morris mug. Go figure. Uh, this is another thing I forgot to look up, but these anthropomorphic, lots of vowels in there, I know. Anthropomorphic items sell really well. It's when you have, like, these items that have faces and have, like, sort of human-like uh, forms, um, and they're really, really hot. The collectors go crazy. I haven't seen this one before, and I snatched it up, and then I promptly forgot to uh, Google it. But it's made by Chase. So probably 1950s, 1960s. It's got to be worth at least 25 but I bet it could be worth more. I looked up these books the other day, and the ones I found were $9 a piece. Now, this is easy to ship. The set has some tearing to the dust jackets. I'd probably sell them cheaper and just sell them as a lot online. I'm kind of obsessed with like military stuff and I love looking up the ships in these. And so I always buy these old photos and then my friend Bill, shout out to Bill, helps me figure out what ships they are. <laughs> uh, this is a Pizzell iron uh, from Norway. I didn't know what it was. And at first I was gonna get it for my husband, but then I found out it was worth about a hundred bucks. And I said, he's not gonna make Pizzell in the backyard. And so I'll probably sell that. Now it is heavy. Uh, so that's a little bit of an issue, but it's not very breakable. So we've got that going for us. I've been buying more and more of these vintage plush toys. I can't stop myself. I don't know how I'm going to clean this guy. I don't think he's terribly um, valuable. Like the plush ones and the ones with the rubber faces. Look for those. The, the hard noses um, made of like almost like a gosh, that sort of like blush colored plastic or rubber. Look for those because they're worth a lot. This one again just got tossed in the bucket. I had to grab this house hippo planter. I've never seen them before. Made in Japan. Mid-century probably. Really good shape. I'm thinking, I don't know, I think it could be a $35 item. Online I couldn't find him. These George Briard glasses had a giant spider in them and some woman named Katie, shout out to you if you're out there watching, save me from this giant spider. I gotta clean these up. These are George Briard Cabana. The prices are kind of all over the place on these, but I think that they will sell very well. And my guess is that they would sell for like 65 or 75 shipped. Um, there was a piece of Pyrex there. I don't know what the actual name of this, but I, this pattern is, but I call it barbed wire and you'll find it if you look it up. And that's probably about a $40 piece, even without the lid, crazy. Other things I forgot to look up. <laughs> I was supposed to look up what this is. It feels like it's part of a pipe. Uh, I could be really wrong. Let me know in the comments if you know what that is. Grabbed it. I live near a street by this name. I had to have this little buckle. Didn't look it up. Uh, the seller claimed this was a Hopi Indian piece. He said that's what the person selling it to him said and claimed that it was sterling. And I'm not trying to imply that he was lying. I'm just saying I'm not sure he was correct. Um, so I got to check that out. It needs a jump ring or something. This little owl is pretty cool. I haven't seen an auto pin, but I feel like that could come in handy. And so just a couple little pieces I'll have to price out, but I mean, I'm gonna guess that for all those, it's probably gonna be at least a hundred bucks. Uh, Cause if this is sterling, it's gonna be worth a decent amount. Um, I've also got this 
humidor here. I didn't know this was a humidor, but I looked it up on Google Lens and it has quite a bit of value. This is not something that Google Lens was able to recognize. Um, this, I don't even know what this is, uh, but it's bizarre and amazing, so I kind of loved it. I think that'll probably just sell in the booth. It's not in good enough condition for me to sell online. This I might sell online. These whip stitch um, fiberglass lampshades are really, really cool. Um, and by themselves, they sell for like 35 or 40, so that's awesome. I was joking with my friend and put it on this uh, marble lamp, which is probably worth about 125 or 150 bucks, and she did not like it, but I kind of liked it. Sorry, Sherry. Okay, a couple last minute things here. We've got this cute little candelabra that I like the shape of. It's not in perfect condition, but I think that will sell well. A couple of vintage hats. This one is from France. So cute. I don't know if that's a raspberry beret, but it's too small for me, so I'm still going in the outdoor. And that wraps up this portion. I have a couple more things to show you that are in a separate spot, and I will show you those right away. Okay, so I wanted to be able to spread these things out, and I didn't really get to show you the quilt that I had spread out underneath the items before, which I also bought at the estate sale. And in the last couple of minutes, some random people driving by stopped and I said, oh, I'm not having a yard sale. And then they bought the quilt. So that was kind of funny. So I made a profit on that already. And she's gonna repair it. And she said, it's probably from the twenties or thirties. I might've sold it too cheap, but you know what? I sold it from the comfort of my own front yard. So what's better than that? So uh, I got a few clothing pieces. They do need to be um, spot treated and such, although this is in pretty good shape. This, I believe the tag said Artemis or Artemis maybe is how you pronounce it. I never remember how. But you should always look for these like nightgowns and slips. They're becoming very popular. People are wearing them with like combat boots and stuff like that. So yeah, wearing them over pants and all that. So they're not just for nightgowns. This one looks like it was never worn and it is beautiful, this powder blue. So I got that. My guess is that I could sell it for 25 in the booth, but it might be worth a lot more online. I haven't looked that up yet. Now I live through the ocean Pacific wave, ha ha. And look at this sleeveless hoodie with a pocket. Wow, and surfers. I mean, look at the graphics. I need to treat a couple of spots. I use Dawn, but there are other products you can use. Um, Dawn seems to work for me, so I just keep using that. I don't know what that's worth. It's gotta be worth about at least 25, maybe more. Ocean Pacific was very popular. I also got this really pretty tablecloth, by the way. Um, okay. I got this for local interest purposes. It's pretty beat, but some people might not care. It's from 1980, celebrating the Baltimore City Fair, and I believe there's some kind of a beer advertisement. I can't wait to wash this uh, on the other side. I mean, this thing is nothing if not authentic, right? I mean, definitely a single stitch, and uh, you can see the patina. Great. Probably not a big money maker, but rescued from the landfill. Okay. Also rescued from the landfill. Look how cute this is. It has stains. I gotta try to get them out. I think I might be able to, but look at this. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've gone back in time to my childhood. Amazing. Let me know in the comments if you know what that's worth. I didn't look up the clothing items. I was a little overwhelmed with the hard goods. And then look at this pretty dress, like a little shift dress. The woman who bought the quilt was mildly obsessed with this fabric. I think it's cotton and look at the lace detail. So I think I'll probably sell that in the booth. Um, I like it that people can try things on at the booth and the measurements, you know, don't have to be precise. So those were the clothing items I wanted to share with you guys. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you'll get to go out there and find some treasures for yourself and make yourself some money so that you're paying yourself for your time. And you know, a lot of these treasures were found because I refused to stop searching. I'll see you guys next time.